What's up everybody? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I am Jess. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I have a short and sweet video for today, but it's a good one. We have a new monthly weight loss challenge that I'm going to do. It was inspired by the last month, so it'll be good and relevant for the month of September. So if you want to follow along with me, the details for that will be coming up soon. And it is a week I'm not sure, so I'll put it right here, update of my weight loss journey or my journey where I am on a mission to rewind my health from a morbidly obese weight to a healthy weight, living keto, low carb, high protein, you know, putting the blood, sweat, and tears into everything. So um, I will say I'm not a medical doctor, not a healthcare professional. This is just my story and my experience and what I'm doing to change my life. You do you at the end of the day. So with that said, let's hop into today's video. Oh, okay. So the last week, um, it was the last week of the August monthly weight loss challenge of the no regrets challenge. Um, the no regrets challenge in a nutshell, uh, is you want to live every day with your choices, with your desires, with your, you know, your grit so that you're consistent the whole week, not just like Monday through Friday. And for me, weekends were my thorn in my side. I let up on you know my goals my consistency and then monday morning i'm upset because i overdid it on the weekend so it's that revolving no re i, I want to have no regrets <laughs> so that was the whole point of the weight loss challenge so keeping that in mind i had a birthday last week and my gift or my present to myself was i wanted a vacation with myself i wanted to sit down being that i aged up another year <laughs> um i leveled up I, you know, when you have a new birthday, I'm in my 40s now, <laughs> and I'm like, dang, you know, like I've got thinking everything, you know, that's on my mind. I was like, okay, what do I want? What do I desire? What makes me, you know, me? What, what can I improve on? You're like, I digested myself, and I made a plan, <laughs> um, and I did that all last week. I didn't do anything I didn't want to do. And that meant I didn't work out last week. I just wasn't feeling, you know, like I just, I did what I wanted to do last week, no matter what. And that kind of thinking made the evolution to the September monthly challenge. Uh, but before I jump into the September monthly challenge and why um, we're doing that theme, I wanna talk about a few things. The first thing, so as I'm sitting there opening up presents and cards and stuff like that, I received a very unique gift that I was unexpected and it actually arrived on my birthday, which was Thursday. And it was this very beautiful necklace. And you see this has like a little bar um, and it's, it's, uh, I didn't know how like tight to put it. So I put it fairly tight. So it sits up, you know, kind of like where my collarbone is. And I was reading the card that came with it. Now, mind you, it's funny how things all happen. <laughs> you know, like I wasn't expecting this, but you know, after having the week of giving myself what I want, you know, and having that vacation with myself, it, it was interesting how things just fall into place. So the card that came with it is, first of all, I want to thank uh, Jill. Let me see. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correct, so my apologies. But she said, you are appreciated. Jill Scheel. So first off, thank you so much. What an awesome surprise. Was not expecting that at all. I absolutely love my silver necklace. And the card that came with it which at first I was like, what is this? And then it came with a little card that made sense. And the, the card that came with it, see if I get this to balance. Uh, so the card that came with it says, balance, make a wish and put on your necklace. Wear it as a reminder that a happy life is not built upon the goal of perfection, but balance. And that was so well-timed because <laughs> that totally made my head start, you know, thinking and planning and, you know, and it was so, it was just so cool. So as I'm thinking, thinking there, I'm like, yeah, I've never tried to portray a, a image of perfection in this journey. I have portrayed a image of balance, you know, where you have the good with the bad, the wins, the losses, you know, and I've, I've really tried hard to portray the, the reality of a weight loss journey when you have a significant amount of weight to lose. So with the whole week of my vacation with myself under my belt, 
I, at that time, I planned for the monthly weight loss channel, being that a new month, new chapter, you know, I do these things to help keep me focused and moving along and, you know, my, my, my downward trail on the scale is going real slow, but it's going, you know, but it's just, it's one of those things where you just have to keep moving forward no matter the pace, right? So that inspired the theme for the month of September. As I'm sitting there happy as ever, I'm not working, I put the camera down, you know, I did what I wanted to do, I worked out when I wanted to work out, I, you know, like, I, I had my husband take over a couple meals, you know, making our dinners, I went out to dinner a few times, like, I just had a week where I did what I wanted to do. And it was a game changer in the mental game or in the emotional game, because I felt good all week. So that's why for the month of September, the theme for the month is the Selfish September Accountability Challenge. Now, what does that mean? And why would you want to do that with me? <laughs> it's basically being accountable for your own choices and reactions to minimize the regrets and maximize your successes or your wins. So what does that look when it comes to making that into a weight loss challenge? Well, the first thing is, or the main theme is, you can identify the areas that you can improve on in your life. Basically, a goal without a plan is just a wish. You know, and wishes get old. You know, like, I wish I could lose weight. I wish I could just drop that last five pounds. I wish I could wear a size six. You know, like, all of those things are just wishes without a plan to get there, right? And to stay there and, you know, have your happy ending. So I put together a list of things that I'm doing, and this is what I was journaling last week as I'm sitting there, you know, thinking of what I want and how I'm gonna be selfish. And it's okay to be selfish. Let's just point that out there. You still matter at the end of the day. So the thing is, you can't pour from an empty cup. If you have nothing else left to give in your cup, you can't, you can't fill up another one, right? And that comes along the theme balance. You can't always just be giving, you have to receive too. And that balance can get way out of whack sometimes. And that's how I truly got to 309 pounds. My self <laughs> was sitting on the back burner while I took care of everything else in my life. And that got me obese, morbidly obese, right? So I don't want that, you know, and I want, I, I'm happy, this is my life too. So I wanted to figure out how I'm going to be selfish in a way that makes sense. Because sometimes the word selfish can have a very negative meaning or, you know, persona. <laughs> so like, you don't want to be called selfish. It's not necessarily a, a good thing, but in reality, it's not a bad thing either when you put it in the right context. So be selfish this month. You can't pour from an empty cup. Make sure you take, your, take care of yourself too. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I put a list together of things that I thought made sense to me. First, answer these and be honest with yourself. Am I making my health a priority? The last month, yeah. Over the summer, no. <laughs> you know? um, beginning of this year, yeah. I mean, it has not been consistent though. I've had great months and I've had shitty months. And you know, it's that inconsistency that is why the scale is negating nothing. You know, like I'm still in the same place. So when I'm honest with myself, I know there's work to do. You know, I have to admit that to myself. It's not perfect. You know, like I've got to get it together. You know, I got to find it in me to have no regrets, to push through a whole week, to maximize my success. So, uh, and that means I have to be selfish a little bit. I've got to make myself, I got to make time for what I need and I got to do what I want, right? So am I making excuses? I made a lot of excuses this year. And it's like, you think you'd learn, but you don't, you know, you don't learn until you learn, you know, life keeps throwing that at you until you learn it, you know, cause if you keep having that same outcome, you're going to see that same, you know, re ever revolving issue, you know, and then you finally learn it and then you don't see that anymore, you know, cause you're fixing it. Am I happy on my current path? Yes. I had to navigate a lot over the last two years because I went super restrictive. I went bonkers, you know, like I had to find that happy medium that I liked and I found lots of protein I thrive on um, that helps me with a lot of my eating. Um, and I had to find like a, a 
like a normal amount of fat. I don't do high fat and I don't do low fat. I'm kind of like that moderate level of fat. And I find that I do need a couple carbs in my life and those are the good carbs. They come in nature's packaging. They look like vegetables, you know, that kind of thing, but they're not bad things. I didn't get to 309 pounds overeating vegetables. You know, so that's what I'm saying. So I had to tweak a lot and find something that worked for me so that I was happy on it. Because for the longest time, I was so restrictive that it just made me think of everything I couldn't have, you know, so it was like there was no balance. And it wasn't what I wanted to do because I was way too restrictive. And then the opposite end of the spectrum was way too over, I overdid it too much, you know? So again, when I look at this necklace, I think balance, you know, like what's, what do I want to do? What makes me happy? What's my desire? So the next thing is, what am I doing to relieve and reduce stress? Now it is the month of September. Historically, the weather starts getting nice here in Texas. We have, I think four more days of triple digits and then next week things come back down and it's like the heat dome that's just been blasting texas is finally peacing out you know so that means i'm gonna get my butt out in my garage where my home gym is and exercise lift weights do my strength training and on probably mondays and fridays i'll do a walk a low a leisurely walk with my music and just like get get my head centered and then like Tuesday, Thursday and Friday will be my lifting days. And it's like, oh, I can't wait for that again. I mean, I live for those, that the, this month's weather and you know, to, towards basically fall, it's just perfect and I wanna be outside. So that's my exercise is clearly one of them. I wanna look into doing some yoga I, for strength and mobility reasons. I mean, I'm 41 now. <laughs> I'm not getting any younger, so I want to make sure I'm I'm just flexible and I'm not just strong, you know, because your flexibility, your mobility, you know, like all of that matters. Um, so, and the other thing is I wanted to start doing some breathing exercises. I can get wound up real fast and the anxiety sometimes cripples me. So I want to learn some breathing exercises where I can bring myself down. Cause if I can't just go out to a gym and burn off my stress, cause I'm at, you know, a, a ball game or something, <laughs> you know, or I'm, I'm in the middle of a mall. I mean, I can't exactly lift weights right there, you know, to get it out. So I'm like, I want to find ways that I can do when I'm not where I have access to weights or, you know, I have been sleeping a lot. I have, I've normally, I've said this a bunch of times, I'm a night owl, but for the past, uh, since summer, I have really brought down the time that I go to bed. And from like two in the morning to like 1130ish, 12 of the latest, which is huge for me to do. And I've been feeling it by getting more sleep. So, uh, and on the t on a along those lines, like journaling, if I'm, if I'm sitting at home and I think of something, I need to write it down. If something's bothering me, I'm going to write it down, you know, and then I can make some plans based off of those thoughts in the moment, because I don't always have time to deal with it in the moment, you know, but I can come back to it. Um, and again, music is something that is just, when I, you get a good song that really speaks to you, it's, it's therapy, <laughs> you know, and it's free. So I listen to a lot of music, you know, and it just, when I can get so wound up, it can get me just feeling happy in the other direction, you know, like just music, getting lost in a good song. Um, so with that said, what do I do for self-care? Because you can't just exercise all the demons away, right? It, there comes a time where there's other ways you can deal with getting that stress out. So self-care. This is something that I also, being that I'm not a selfish person, this is something I want to do is I need to make time for me and make sure I'm getting the selfish treatment for myself. <laughs> if that makes sense. But the, one of the things, but one of the birthday presents that I got, I've been reading so many books. I lost track how many books I've read this year. Like I am addicted to reading books. I turn that TV the hell off and all the negativity that comes with it. I turn Facebook off. I turn, I mean, I didn't uninstall it because I'm, I, I'm, it's like a bittersweet thing. Like I have my platform on social media, but I hate social media. <laughs> so I do my stuff and I bounce. I mean, I'll look for recipes, that kind of thing. But I, by taking that negativity out of my life and replacing it with books, I got a Kindle because I was reading so many books. It was, you know, so I got, so my husband bought me a Kindle and this is something I had so long ago. And this is like the new version of it, but it is, 
awesome, like to get lost in a book, to sit there, take a, take a half hour, read a couple of chapters, or to turn yourself off at night, I've been reading a book. And it has done, I've been so happy for the last month, and I was like, what's the difference? You're like, there's nothing else really in my life that changed, you know, like, why is the mood change? And I have to really point to reading. Don't, if you say, I don't have time to read, you always have time to read. Don't say that. You can squeeze in a chapter. You can squeeze it in. And then once you really enjoy it, you'll find ways to squeeze it in because that's what you do to make yourself a priority. <laughs> um, but if I could say anything, turn off that damn TV and all the riffraff that's on it and go back to like the simple life. Read a book. Um, so also along those lines, so I took a bath, like a nice hot bubble bath with my Kindle. You know, that was one of the ways to just like, oh, this is what I want to do. You know, like I just had that week last week. Um, you know, I don't get my nails done, but I do get my hair done. So make that appointment, get your hair done, get pampered. You know, that is self care. If you can't, you can't be selfish unless you're honest. So what if, are you actually planning your weekly menu? Are you actually going grocery shopping and buying just those things on your list? You know, are you, are you tracking your macros? Are you eating your protein goals? Are you getting your water? You know, like all of those things, take a look back and be honest with yourself. If you can improve, there's your blueprint. Um, and then the last thing and the most important thing, are you being consistent? And that is one area that Oh, it's going to haunt me to the end of time. <laughs> but seriously, oh man, that is going to haunt me because it is so hard to stay consistent. But once you get that slow momentum going, like I'm on a roll for the past month, I can honestly say that. I Even for my birthday, I requested a cupcake. I did not want a sheet cake. I had a party with my friends, you know, that whole nine yards, but I got cupcakes so there'd be no leftovers but I'd have the cupcake, you know, it is a birthday after all. My kids were excited, they're like, cake, you know. So instead of having an entire sheet cake, you know, where I have leftovers and I'm hitting my emotions, my, my sweet tooth, my, you know, all of the demons when it comes to the sugar and that junk that's in a cake, I'm hitting that multiple times and increasing the times for me to start backtracking and rolling back into my old habits. So by just having the cupcake, it one and done, and we move on. So I didn't have regret, because that ultimately is what I'm trying to do here. I don't want the regrets. So if I don't want the regret, regrets, I have to stay consistent. And that means showing up every day. That means making that menu, going to the grocery store, having your self care, getting your workout in, drinking your water, you know, all these things that you do every day, not just when it's convenient or when you have time or when everybody else has their stuff done and you have a spare minute, you know, like, no, 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 no. You have to make yourself a priority. You have to get it done. No one's going to do it for you. And you've got to be consistent by showing up every day. So that is the theme for the month of September. It couldn't have been more perfect because everything has been coming into place where it makes sense and I get it and I understand it's not the superficial or the materialistic reasons that I'm doing this. This is like, all right, I get it. I, you know, and I want this. So I hope that all makes sense. Sometimes when I talk and I ramble, it just, it doesn't come across the way it does in my head. <laughs> so, but I will say, well, I'm going to be doing some workout videos maybe this week. Um, depending on a lot of things, but I, I'm going to at least get my workouts in, but if I can film them, I will. And I have some recipes, a long list of recipes that I have not been filming that I've been doing that it would make sense. So it's like, I just need to get those things done. So those will hopefully be coming up. So I, my goal for the month of September is at least two videos a month. And that is because it keeps me on track. It keeps me accountable because it keeps that routine going. It makes sure that I'm showing up. So part of my reasoning of the accountability thing is also doing things that make me stay on task. You know what I'm saying? So look forward to that and I will see you at the next one. I am Jess. Thank you to Jill for my necklace. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. You're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye. <laughs>